Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use a, a pH soy, you know, pH soy machine. That uh, this machine to uh, measure the like soy level, then density, and uh, compos composition of the soy, you know. Yeah, uh, this uh, tomato, you know, like uh, you look at the chart, you know. When you look at the chart, this I print from uh, online, you know, from internet. Yes, uh, they, they put a vegetable and berry, you know. Like, uh, yes, uh, uh, the, the pH, um, yeah, like uh, bean is around uh, 6.0 to uh, 7.5. Uh, as, asparagus, 6.0, 8.0. Yeah, and then uh, everything, like you know, like uh, blueberry, uh, 4.0, 5.5, blackberry, 5.5 uh, to 7.0, broccoli, like uh, 6.0 uh, to 7.0, cabbage, uh, 6.0 to uh, 7.5, you know, and carrot. Carrot is uh, 5.5 to 7.0. Cucumber like uh, 5.5 to 7, 7.0. And uh, like tomato, okay, everything you can uh, look at by yourself. Tomato is uh, 5.5, 7.5. Now it's uh, 5.5. Yeah, it's almost, you know. What is uh, we, we, we can look, look at for this, you know, 5.5, you know, this. The, the, the bottom one you know like 5.5 to uh, 5.5 to 7.5 that's it's good you know it's good it's good for your uh, uh, tomato you know so I want to uh, um, tell you a little bit more about uh, the chart you know like uh, when you study about the chemistry chemistry you know like the the soil density and compos composition so you're gonna you're gonna uh, know about uh, about denomination and pH rank you know like uh, ultra acidic that's mean uh, less than a point three point five extremely uh, acidic is a uh, three point five to four point four very strongly acidic, 4.5 to 5.0. Strongly acidic, 5.1 to 5.5. Moderately acidic, 5.6 to 6.0. Slightly acidic, 6.1 to 6.1 to uh, 6.5. Neutral, neutral one. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, neutral 6.6 to 7.3 slightly alkaline alkaline uh, uh, sorry uh, slightly alkaline uh, 7.4 to 7.8 uh, moderate al alkaline uh, 7.9 8.4 strongly al al alkali alkaline Sorry, uh, I forget uh, the word, you know, like, I don't know how to spell alkaline or al alkaline. I, I, I don't search before because uh, a little bit confused, you know. I'm sorry about that if uh, I'm, I'm wrong, you know. Like, uh, I want to uh, uh, tell you again, uh, like, moderate alkaline. I, I call alkaline, okay, sorry about that if I'm wrong, you know. Uh, alkaline or alkaline, you know. Uh, moderate alkaline, 7.9 uh, to 8.4. Strongly alkaline, 8.5 to 9. Uh, uh, very strongly alkaline, uh, bigger than uh, 9.0. This uh, the like uh, demon, demon, sorry, uh, denomination and pH range, you know. Like uh, tomato prefers soy that is slightly acidic with pH of around 6 to 6.8. However, they will tolerate a pH of up to 7.5. Uh, 
soil density and composition are also Im important you know so yeah before you uh, do like this uh, like this um, it's, sm it's small you know small tomato plant but you know they make fruit you know it make fruit you know see it's all make fruit see uh, the, the pH you gonna when you plant it you gonna study about the pH you know like alkal alkaline you know like acidic you know and uh, around you know see uh, we talking about tomato the more tomato around 6 to uh, 6.5 you know 6.5 this is good you know this is still good so I, I cannot try another tomato plant you know like this plant this all tomato you know I'm gonna wait a little bit yeah see Uh, around you see six around six you know it's a bit good uh, for 6.0 to 6.8 uh, it can be uh, like you know uh, tolerate it can be tolerate uh, a pH up up to 7.5 you know it's 7.5 see but uh, doesn't matter, it's uh, around 6.0 to uh, 6.8, you know, 6.8. It's around uh, like, like, you know, this around 6, you know, 6, this around is very, is still good, you know. Yep. And then uh, I cannot try another tomato plant. Yeah. I can try another tomato plant, you know. The soy, you know. This, you know, is healthy. See? I prune, I uh, just uh, tell you a little bit, I prune it to make uh, uh, the plant stronger, you know, and bigger. And then uh, this one, I ditch uh, the PA machine. Yeah, this you know um, around. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, this around seven. You know, this uh, seven. You, you can see. Did you see around seven? That uh, like it 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 can tol tolerate a p pH. You know, e uh, a pH of up to 7.5 this uh you know in the range you know like 7 7.5 but it's still 7 you know this is good so your plan gonna make fruit a lot you know so i i thought the same the same soy so this tomato too and then this tomato too you know this uh like the healthy plant tomato you know See? yeah mm -hmm. So this tomato too, you know, and uh, this tomato too, you know, is healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very, very strong and uh, a big, you know, big plant. It's big plant. It can uh, make fruit like, you know, this uh, start from this month and then uh, at the end of the uh, summer, you know, it's a summer. Like uh, when it's cold, like fall is still give, giving fu fruit, you know. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you uh, everybody for watching my video about uh, how to using a, a pH soy machine to measure the soy that you want to plant in. Okay, uh, if you like my video, don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.